Hi, I'm Adam Wax, I'm the founder of Lumetica, and I'm here to tell you about our great new product, the OQ Lab Scope. We've developed an OCT system that's so easy to use and inexpensive that it will increase access to this important technology for a variety of applications. Since its development 25 years ago, OCT has proven to be an outstanding imaging technology, especially for ophthalmic applications. Now, Lumetica's low-cost OCT system is opening the doors for university educators, life science researchers, and even manufacturers and in industry to see how this important technology can help them with their imaging tasks. The OQ LabScope ships complete for under $10,000. To be clear, that's a whole OCT system you get the optical engine and an integrated Windows bootable computer. Right out of the box, all you have to do is plug in a cable, push the button, and you boot it up just like a regular computer. And within minutes, you're acquiring OCT images. This is the scan head of the OQ LabScope. It contains all the imaging optics you need to construct OCT images. It's easy to use by hand, or you can put it in this nice microscope stand that comes as part of the workstation package. As simple as this. You can then position it and place your sample underneath. Here is the startup screen for the LabScope software. To initiate a scan, you simply click on the Start Scan button. And the image appears right here in less than a second. I'm showing an image here of scotch tape, but this is a cross-sectional image, so you can see all the different layers of the tape. Our depth of focus here is over 2.2 millimeters, and we can see up to 20 layers of tape. A unique feature of the lab scope is its ability to focus electronically. So you can change the focus from the surface deep into the sample. Once you have an image that you like, you can save it by simply clicking Save B Scan Image. However, if you decided that the image you wanted was one or two exposures ago, you can easily scroll through the last 30 images that you acquired and save any of them or you can average them all to get a better image with improved signal-to-noise ratio. Experienced users of OCT may want access to the raw image data. In that case, simply click on the Advanced tab and you have the ability to save raw B-scan images as well as to change various imaging parameters such as dispersion compensation, the dynamic range of the image, or even to adjust the focus. Changing scan parameters with the LabScope software is very easy. Simply click on the Configuration tab, and you can change the scan direction from horizontal to vertical. You can change the scan width, or control the number of B scans that you include in each volumetric C scan. The Setup tab shows you the raw data from the spectrometer, and here we can see our interference fringe, which is processed to form the image data. On this screen, you can examine the interferometric data directly, as well as control the gain of the sensor. This can be useful for weekly scattering samples that may need a boost in signal. The last tab allows the user to control manual settings of the lab scope instrument. For example, you can directly change the position of the MEMS mirror in both X and Y, as well as to adjust the focus of the liquid lens. The LabScope software will also let you capture 3D volumetric images. All you need to do is position your sample and click Capture C-Scan. For example, we're going to show a 3D scan of this plastic cup, zooming in on some of the letters in the writing. To view your 3D volumetric image, simply open the image stack using a 3D viewer, such as the free ImageJ plugin available from NIH. After loading the data into the 3D viewer, it's easy to process all the various layers. And here we can nicely see the writing on our cup. And you can see the data in X, Y, and Z. Thanks for watching our tour of the OQ LabScope. Please send us an email to get more information and find out how OCT can work for you.